YouTube, what's up? Marcos here from Edward Krosky. And first things first, I just want to say is thank you guys so much for 4K subscribers, bro. Oh my God, it's actually crazy, bro. Just saying that, that number four, bro, is... <laughs> You guys are amazing, bro. I love you guys, man. So my New Year's resolution goal is that I want to hit 10k subscribers by the end of this year. I think we could do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already hit 4k. You know, just six, just six thousand more subscribers. <laughs> six thousand more subscribers, and we're gonna hit 10k, bro. I think we could do it this year for sure. So if you guys want to help out, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I'm gonna be posting a lot of content like what I'm gonna show you guys today. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate the cover from Yeet's new album Afterlife. You know, this X-ray look, it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate that in Photoshop. And without much to say, let's just get into this video. Alright, guys, so I'm in Photoshop right now, and I just made a template size for our cover here. That's gonna be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. That's usually like the average template size for cover art usually. And I'm gonna just import this photo of me for our example because. Why not? This is my video, right? So I'm gonna just resize this. I'm gonna resize it with something like, I think right there. And basically you guys can just follow along on the process that I'm gonna do to recreate this. So, you know, if you have a picture of yourself, go ahead and import that. And the first thing that we gotta do is cut out myself from the background. And there's a fast way of doing this. What I like to do is go over to the side and click the uh, quick selection tool. Once you click that, go over to the top toolbar and click this button that says select subject. And basically what this feature does, it just makes a fast selection on your subject. You know, you may have to make some adjustments, so if I look through, it made a pretty good selection actually. So I think we're fine. I'm gonna just go over here on the bottom right corner and click this layer mask button and boom, my background is gone. And if you want, you could, you know, adjust your mask. All you gotta do is just double click on the mask button right here and then properties will pull up and you could pretty much adjust the settings that you want. What I recommend is just clicking the smart radius button and just increasing that if you want to. I'm gonna just make our background black for reference. So I'm gonna just paint that in with black and boom. So now I'm gonna just turn my picture into a black and white image. And all you gotta do is make sure you have your layer selected, obviously. Go to image, adjustments, and go to black and white. And I'm gonna just hit auto, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And if you want, you can add a tone curve layer onto your photo here. Just make sure that it's clipped to your layer. And I'm gonna make three points in our chart. And I'm just going to, let's see, let's boost that bottom point up. The middle one. Uh, we could probably lower that down a little bit. Huh? And then bring this upper tone. Nah. Some, we'll go like we'll go with this for now. Okay, we'll go with this for now. I'm, I'm probably gonna change it later. Now, obviously, we want to add bones into our photo because that's obviously like an X-ray look that we're going for. So I'm gonna just go on Google and I'm gonna just type in skeleton body. All right, and let's see what pops up in Google Images. All you want to do is try to find bones that you know face the same direction. Like obviously, I need to find an arm that can fit this right here and a school that's looking you know, certain directions. Just try to find skeleton parts or bone parts that you know fit your um, body type, right? So now I'm gonna just import all these bone photos into Photoshop. So now with each photo, I'm gonna just carefully um, adjust them and see if they could fit our subject. So I think I use this one for our arm. Yeah, I'm gonna just use the arm for this one. So let me just do something like this. So, okay, that's gonna be for the arm, so I'm gonna just hide that. This layer, I think I'm only gonna use the head because my head is rotating like a certain way. And my torso is pretty much, yeah, it's probably just the head. So I'm gonna just save this one for the head. I'll hide that layer. And then this one, mainly, like really just for the main body. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to make the skeleton body as dark as possible so I can just cut it out easily. Okay, zoom out. So now we're gonna try to composite everything together. And what I mean by that is trying to make everything like the same color. I'm gonna make everything black and white. I mean, might as well, right? So let's see, I'm gonna here, I'm gonna image. Let's go image, adjustments, black and white, auto, and I made okay. 
same thing with the scroll on top image adjustments black and white auto i'm okay yeah so now i'm gonna just add tone curves to each of these layers and i'm gonna just uh, try to make the lighting and everything the same as possible so We'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, so I finished making the lighting as best as possible or try to make every picture, you know, look like it's all in one. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine all these elements together into one to make our life easier. But first you make a copy, bro. Do not start and combine everything because if you don't have like a backup, if you can't mess up, you're done for. I'm gonna go to the first layer that we made and I'm gonna go all the way to the top and I'm gonna hold shift and it highlights pretty much everything. All right, drag these all into our folder that I made. Now I'm gonna just duplicate that, Control J. I'm gonna hide that bottom one as our backup. And we're gonna name this one back of skeleton. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, I don't care, but bring back your chulo man, your handsome man right here. Drag him all the way in front of everybody. And I'm gonna make the opacity like that. And now let me bring back the background. Now I'm gonna just change the blend mode for uh, the picture of me. I'm gonna change the blend mode and uh, let's go okay lighting looks not bad screen doesn't look bad either yeah, you can pretty much choose any of these blend modes that you want i'm gonna go with i think our best option is screen and i'm gonna add a tone curve button to our uh, photo of me here i'm gonna make three points and basically i'm just gonna play around with the lighting and try to make it as 3d skeleton of me as possible and this is pretty much our base right here you can make your adjustments as needed i'm gonna go with this for right now i'll probably make some adjustments with the chain here because i low-key did mess up a little bit but other than that this is actually not looking too bad so i'm gonna go with this for right now and now i'm gonna add overlays and if you want you can add like you like a smoke overlay coming out your mouth if you wanted to i don't smoke myself so i'm not gonna add to because why would i now i'm gonna just add some texture overlays and you can pretty much find most of these on google if you want to i'm gonna add this let's add this vintage overlay let's see drop the opacity to like 50 and then difference all right so this we got this going on now i want to add like a glow effect onto our uh subject here and i'm gonna just double click on our folder let's do outer glow first okay i'm gonna bring that size up like this i'm gonna drop the opacity just a little bit i think i'm gonna just add another glow effect onto his eyes and to do so i'm gonna just make another layer on top of that all right, we're gonna just make a selection around his eyes real fast. So something like this and another one like that. And boom. Now I'm gonna just merge these two shapes together. And now all I'm gonna do is double click on our layer here and I'm gonna add an outer glow. Let's bring that size down to his eyes spread yeah spread a lot of spread and something like this right filter and i'm gonna just add a motion blur convert to a smart object obviously because that's what i noticed in his cover is that he has like a motion blur thing on going on so i'm gonna go something like this let's see let's add a let's add a blur effect on top of that as well and for the final thing we're gonna add the parental advisory sticker and uh, bro i swear if you do this bro if you if you're one of those people that you bring it in right whatever and you make it like this big bro stop just stop bro just stop in my opinion it looks cleaner if you drag it down to like a size like this looks appropriate okay i think that looks that, that's just my opinion bro if you want to go with that big old sticker that covers your whole cover could be my guess all right so now i'm gonna just add a little bit of distortion on the bottom of my legs and to do so i'm gonna just make a new layer real fast i'm gonna use the brush tool and i'm gonna make sure that my color is white and I'm just going to bring the size up like there. And I'm just going to pretty much just brush this bottom part of myself right here. And I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to go to filter, blur, let's go motion blur. And I'm going to go with something. I'm going to just bring it up all the way like distance. You can bring it down like that. You can leave it like that if you want to. That looks weird. I'm going to bring it like probably like right about i think that looks pretty good i'm gonna just size this control c with that layer and just bring it up and like boom there we go that actually looks pretty far bro what in the what did i just do bro i think we are done with this 
remake right here if you want you could go crazy and do whatever you want bro i'm done with this and yeah you guys that pretty much wraps up for today's video i hope you guys did learn something from this tutorial if you did subscribe to the channel and comment down below what tutorials i should make you know for whatever you guys want to learn right and with that much to say be sure to subscribe and like